Societies close to reaching the maximum performance limit of silicon transistors as two factors restrict them from becoming smaller and faster. Transistors work by forming a depletion layer between a doped silicon and PN junction to stop the flow of current. At approximately 5 nanometers, such a depletion layer can no longer be formed as electrons start performing quantum tunneling, where they will simply jump across the transistor which inherently stays on all the time. The second factor is that resistance and heat increases with electrical current. Running electronic circuits at very high frequencies to improve performance creates large transient currents which can cause components to overheat and malfunction. In light of this, we propose Photonic Saturation Optical Transistors, or PSOT, as a solution to replacing silicon transistors based on the photonic saturation phenomenon. Atoms have electrons and orbitals of specific energy levels. Photons with an energy level that can't push up an electron to the next higher orbital will simply bounce off. When a photon of a specific wavelength enters an atom, it gets absorbed by the electron which goes up an orbital, and in time, the electron moves back down an orbital and releases it. If you send in a photon while an electron has already absorbed one, there will be no electrons to absorb it and it will just pass through, making the atom transparent or saturated. The presented p saw transistor operates 100% on light and therefore is not affected by the aforementioned limitations of silicon transistors. Each p saw unit consists of a nanocrystal substrate, collimator lenses for each terminal, a gate terminal, and a gate light absorber. The nanocrystal substrate is the main body of the p saw unit. A light beam with a specific wavelength is directed at the substrate through the gate terminal. The photons of that wavelength with enough intensity will continuously be absorbed by electrons inside the substrate until no more photons can be absorbed. At this point, the saturated electrons will jump to a higher orbit and the substrate will become transparent to that wavelength. A second beam of the same wavelength containing optical signals can then be sent through the collimator lenses, which direct and focus light towards the substrate. The gate light absorber will absorb excess light from the gate beam. The nanocrystal substrate will be able to operate on multiple wavelengths. Multiple light signals can be merged into one beam. A single PSOT transistor would therefore be able to accomplish what multiple silicon transistors can do. PSOT will be the solution to the future of computing. As we near the maximum potential of what we can achieve using silicon transistors and electronics, our concept of Low Transistor Count High Density Turing Machine, or LTKDM, using Photonic Saturation Optical Transistors, or PSOT, would provide a new computational paradigm from which to develop smaller, faster, and more efficient circuitry.